Hello guys, a lot of you ask me to uh, how to run this tool, so I'm making a video to show you how to use it. You have two options. You either download the released version that I added to the uh, GitHub or download the project and compile it, use it Visual Studio. So we are going to go through the both ways, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, first of all, we, go, we are going to compile this. Uh, you need to download the source or the project uh, from here using the code button, then download as zip. I have the zip source code on my desktop, so I don't have to download it. Uh, when you download this, you're going to have uh, your, you wanted to extract it, uh, open the folder. There's a SLN file over here, it's a Visual Studio solution file. We are going to open that and as soon as you load the project you're gonna do this put this on release and uh, you're either uh, going to click build here or press ctrl shift b i'm going to press build here in the press build you can see that the project is being compiled and it's uh, succeeded so if you go back to the folder go into the data to utils under the bin and release there you go there's a program you, you're gonna have to run this as an uh, administrator and here it is you can use it okay the next way that I'm going to show you is to, uh, is much more simpler than this one you don't need anything you're gonna get the executable version uh, straightforward if you uh, go to, the, to my uh, github page and go to the Dota 2 utils which I have the link here uh, you're going to see that I added a, a released version like 28 minutes ago. If you click here, you can see that there is a zip file. You can download this. And it's uh, exactly the same that I uh, have compiled a minute ago. So if I download this, and it's exactly the same as here. And if you open that, you're going to see that you have the exact same files. So I'm going to extract that. And as you can see, it's the same and if you run this you're going to get the tool okay guys thank you for watching I, I hope you can use this tool you can also fork the code on github it's open source you can play around with it uh, I hope I hope you enjoyed it and bye